So the times that we live in currently, there is nothing called a static image. Yes, everything is going to start moving and everything is already moving. Uh, your tom 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 of the Netflix. Everything has a sound, everything has a motion to it. As a teacher, I would say, since everything is moving, it becomes even more important that the student has, uh, or an individual or an artist or designer has a very individualistic standpoint. Otherwise, you'll get lost in this chaos of moving images. Before joining my college, even before I joined NID, I knew I wanted to be an animator. And uh, after my education, uh, I this year was 1999-2000, uh, nobody knew the A of animation except for seeing animations. Uh, and uh, I think serendipity and I went to watch a film at City Fort and I met someone and I immediately got a project right after college and I got a film to do for the UN uh, which worked both ways positive and negative because uh, being a fresher I immediately became something called a producer yeah a, f a filmmaker in the industry is called a producer so I immediately became a producer and therefore I never got a job Nobody gave me a job because you're a producer, you know, you're not just an animator. So uh, that's, that's how it began and uh, filmmaking was a passion and the idea of doing animation and doing the kind of experimental stuff that one was taught at NID with the National Film Board of Canada and those kind of influences, uh, identity, originality, culture, ethos should show in your work, etc. So that was the plan. But uh, the chance project that I got, the first project of my life uh, professionally, uh, did affect the rest of my career, positively or negatively.